Ilia Grande, the perfect place for all of you who got tired of the crazy vibe of Rio or you who just have maybe a week in Brazil and need to find the perfect paradise place fast. This island is pure magic. Follow us on a journey along the whole island. Here we go. Ilha Grande is almost too good to be true. We're talking a world-class island paradise less than three hours all in all from the chaos of Rio. Is this a traditional way of painting goats here? Yeah, man. Yeah? Name Ilha Grande, Big Island says it all. People will spend weeks here and still don't explore all the hidden gems. We made it to seven, eight of them, and then there's still hundreds of islands scattered nearby. Leaving with bus from Rio, it will take about two hours reaching the town of Mangaratiba, where the boats are coming in on a busy schedule. This is where you get a first glimpse of what you're in for. Boat ride is a thrill and will take less than an hour. This is where pretty much all boats arrive. Abrao is the main village of the island and the base camp for most visitors. Did I mention it's also set in the middle of a stunning environment? to our front, please. I would like to cancel my trip back to Sweden. Thank you. But you didn't come all the way here just to enjoy some village. <laughs> it's time to get on a boat again. Let's do this. One of the absolute musts is to spend a day at the world-famous Praia de Lopez Mendes. And however beautiful this beach might be, it's actually not the one we're going to. We're in for something even better. No, to get to this iconic beach you'll need to endure a 15-minute jungle walk, which at times can be pretty challenging. Yes! This is starting to turn from jungle to a beach. There it is. This is quite a big beach, all right? A Caribbean wide. Yeah, it really feels like you're in the Bahamas rather than Brazil. And the beach is huge. Set aside a full day for this visit. Why should people come here? Cheap beer beaches, free beaches, sometimes, and carnival. <laughs> uh, sunscreen Ola, ever heard of that? You simply don't come closer to the Caribbean in the south of Brazil than this. Go ahead, make the walk all the way to the end. Bless ya! Good things will be waiting for you over there. Next up, another Instagram favorite, Ponta da Piedade and its double beach. My face is going to be a burned bloody mess after this. The sun is so strong. Mm -hmm. 
This is an excellent place for a cold beer in the sun. Yes, this is life. It really is life being on Ilia Grande. Such a beautiful place. I am humbled. Enough of my nonsense. Let's give the word to local expert Maria Teles. We should come to Brazil because there are a lot of places, museums, uh, beaches, and that's it. <laughs> so let's return to that base camp for a second. Don't forget to actually spend some time here. Apart from being gorgeous, Abraus got a killer laid-back vibe and no traffic. Just don't rely on the one single ATM to work. Bring cash. So Ula, why should people come here? Oh, I think my favorite is just the, the trees here, the, the, the forest that goes on every hill. It's so green. The, green, uh, the greenery doesn't stop. Yes, you too will love Ilya Grande. Wherever you choose to stay, you will find yourself surrounded by lush nature. And considering how prices have been dropping in Brazil, treat yourself a little. Sure, Ilha Grande is considerably more expensive than most parts of this country, but this is not a place to be cheap. This is seriously a killer island, and I can really recommend this hotel, whatever it's called. And out there, adventure is waiting. After nightfall, expect a cozy, relaxed vibe and not a lot of party. Frankly, this is a place to wind down and catch up with yourself. Or find yourself, if you use that vocabulary. And just as expected, quality of food is real great. Not to mention the drinks. But hey, expect a few late showers. Back to the boat trips. Mornings in Abrao are hectic, so make sure to get to that pickup spot in time. Ran for half an hour, so I'm like bathing in sweat now. <laughs> That's nice, Ola! Trips can be booked from any of the many travel agents. Hello and welcome to yet another beach! <laughs> yes, welcome to the number one Instagram beach, famous for its curved palm tree. I can live like this, yeah, I think I can get used to living like this. And don't have beer for breakfast, drinking on the boat is kind of part of the ride. Okay, I'm pretty sure they just threw this one into the mix to get another tour stop. The Green Lagoon is basically just a swimming hole, but it does make for nice drone footage. Better up is the nearby famous Blue Lagoon, awesome for swimming, snorkeling, and more drinking. Thank you. Caipirinha in the water. Ah. Also full of unbelievably big starfish. Just be gentle and keep the little fellows underwater. I'm giving the Blue Lagoon one out of five stars. No, no. Expect less than $20 for a day tour all in all. 
that includes the extra cost for consuming actual food. And there's more than just beaches. At least there's a great waterfall and a nice scenic jungle lake. You're very blonde now, Ula. Banana. Banana. Um, Ula, tell us oh. a little about your favorite candy you found in Brazil. I'm just having a little uh, pacuquita. What does it taste like? Peanut but butter and sh sugar. I'll just drop this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ula. Ula. Richard, have you been able to find a, find a light through this trip? I don't really need a lighter, I'm just walking around like this. Hey Kurt, what did you like the most? I was very positively surprised of the quality of the beaches and the general vibe of this place. This is like a backpacker's island in Thailand or something like that. It's just, it's gotta be experienced. That's all folks, three days on Ilia Grande, this special little guide brought to you by the Swedish gringo. I really wish I could stay longer. Just imagine what you could do if you had a whole week here. Just book those tickets and get here now. Thank you for watching. More quality stuff coming soon.